I want you to listen closely to the words I'm about to say. A small group of people inside and outside this church coordinated a divisive effort to use disinformation as part of a broader effort to take control of this church. This is a non-stock corporation, and just because they're a religious organization doesn't mean that it can ignore its own constitution. One, that it has to be a non-denominational church. It cannot affiliate with any denominational church. And secondly, that the members have a right to review the financial records, and both of those were being violated. Behind all of this dis disinformation and deception is a small group of people who have stated that their purpose is to take control of this church. My name is Craig Prue. I was an elder a little over 25 years. So I have an immense respect for McLean and what God had done there. I can't put that into words. David Platt had a different mission he wanted for the church. Because we were white, we were racist. David was teaching essentially CRT. About half the congregation left because of the socialist justice gospel and the advocacy of Black Lives Matter. This is blasphemy to compare Jesus' death on the cross to Black Lives Matter. Montgomery County campus was holding a class called Compassion and Conviction, the AND campaign. They were asking for signatures to, quote, more fully provide the LGBT community with civil and human protections. There are wolves in the church. You could open up Alinsky's Rules for Radicals and say, this is exactly what these guys are doing. Accusing us of basically being racist and we will not be a church that stands for this, is what he said. People told me I had a target on my back. You can feel eyes on you, eyes that didn't want you to be there. People were denied the right to vote. The pastor should have been released of his duties for lying. Lying from the pulpit. David's whole persona as a Christian leader is based on lies. He's a complete and utter fraud. His whole career hinges on these backroom deals. I think David and the SPC saw one of the largest churches on the East Coast with a big budget. He would very much like to tap into that money. There was stuff going on behind the scenes that the elders didn't know about. And then all of a sudden this dark money began flowing back and forth between the SPC, NBC, and David's organization called Radical. And when I would ask about that, I said, well, there's millions of dollars going out for this, and there's, there's money coming in from the SBC. What, what's going on? And I was told, Craig, don't worry about it. We got it. Close to about $2 million would have been the Southern Baptist Convention, correct? Yes. To the best of your knowledge, who was aware of this? Clearly the senior staff knew. Clearly the elders knew. Elders did not know. Um, in detail, because they got all of the details of all of that. Um, and beyond that, I don't know who would have known. So you said the senior staff knew, the senior staff being yourself. Wade Burnett would have known, David Platt would have known. Okay. And then the elders would all have known, for sure. Why do you think they would have known for sure? What's the basis for They have saying? a fiduciary responsibility to know where the finances are and what's going on with them. And they got more detailed reports, obviously, than we could give to the congregation. So that's not true. Good understanding of that's not true. What's going and coming. Okay, so the elders would have known in addition to the staff. Yes. And you said they got a detailed report. More detailed. More than detailed. Is, than would go to the. That is. And they could ask at any time. Oh, I can't believe Bill saying report. that. That's okay, not true. Yes. Did there come a time that McLean Bible Church started writing checks directly to Southern Baptist Network? Yes. About a year before David was voted in by the congregation, Dale Sutherland's pushing David Platt here big time. Why did it happen? Uh, the board decided to. The board decided to just write checks to Southern Baptist Convention? Right. That made, they made that determination to write a check to the Southern Baptist. Who are the Southern Baptist Conservatives of Virginia? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't understand that difference. Well, why don't you tell me what this is? I don't know. The third page, do you see that? Oh, yeah, sign it. I was going to say, isn't that your signature? Sure is. Okay. I'm reading it for the first time. Okay, you know, take I'm your sure time. I read it back in 2017, but I haven't seen it since, so yeah. forgive me. Take your time. Um, 
this is blatant right here. David knew about this. Uh, Dale knew about this. Why didn't somebody say something to us? The other thing I noticed on this application was the date that elder vote for partnership, 3-23-16. We never voted on it. If this would have ever came up, all of us elders, I think, would have questioned this. But see, we, we never knew about this. We never knew about this. Do you remember getting a question about how much money has NBC given to SBC or its related organizations directly and indirectly? Not really, but that doesn't, it's here. Okay, do you have, you are, your response is, given what they're asking for, especially going all the way back to 2017, and it is going to be more explosive when this information gets out potentially. Do you see that? Yes. Here's the ones that I did. These are the, the smaller numbers. See the 1250, that's me. 1346, that's me. The rest of these, that's dark money that I did not know about as a treasurer. These $100,000 checks and all these other, what there's 30 or 40 other checks that were made out that I had no idea was going out. And again, do you know what this was about? Yes, that's, we just talked about what the pass-through was. Okay. And that's what we're talking about here. Okay, do you know why they had to send it to you all to pass it through? I don't know why they had to, no. Okay, all right. Um, they didn't have to. We had no idea that that money was going out. You can see that those check numbers are, are, are much different than the ones that they would normally use in Concur. They were four digit numbers that were in Concur and those are six digit numbers. That's a different accounting system. These were being hid, the SBC and NBC. We, we, they could have done that in a much different way. I don't think an auditor, if they knew the details of what you guys know now, an auditor I don't think would have, uh, would have said, no, this isn't legit. This is not the way to do things. David sees all the, the chaos going on and the bad publicity, and if it gets worse, David just wants to get out. David's gonna come up with a, a resignation. Hey, I'm gonna go now do this. This is what God wants me to do. Maybe even after this documentary comes out, you know, who knows where he could go. I had the vote to stop David from ever coming on the board. If us elders would have done our job, in the beginning of getting down on paper what he wants to do. We may have, I would have maybe detected it. We could have gotten somebody else other than David Platt in there maybe, and we could have saved the church, but <clears throat> I gave in. I thought, we've got a guy in there. He did have this social gospel bent, a woke bent you know, to him. Is, is it really that bad? But it turned out to be pretty bad, and I feel bad about it. I had no idea that it was gonna be this devastating. Heavenly Father, we ask, Lord, that this documentary be used to show your glory, that your will be done. And may this film be used for those that are lost and to bring those to account if that is your will, Lord. And please to bring the church back into line because it's your church, Lord. We are your church and we belong to you. So we ask these things in your son's blessed, precious, and majestic name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.